this episode, we will be discussing the Big Bang Theory. Of course, I'm not referring to the popular TV show, but rather the scientific theory that answers this important question. How did the universe begin? In order to understand the Big Bang Theory, it's important to look at the astronomers who were involved in devising the theory more than 100 years ago. Let's begin with Georges Lemaitre. Lemaitre was a Belgian priest, astronomer, and physics professor who lived in the early 1900s. Lemaitre's work focused on galactic spectra. As we see an example here, we notice that we have the spectra from three galaxies, as well as a standard hydrogen spectra from a laboratory. And what we notice is the same thing that Lemaitre noticed, which is that the spectra for all three galaxies is shifted towards the red end of the visible light spectrum. And we know that when energy is shifted towards the red end of the spectrum, that's a sign that the object emitting that energy is moving away from us. Redshift is a receding galaxy. And so what Lemaitre concluded was that the vast majorities of galaxies have redshifted spectra. And therefore, the galaxies are moving away from us and from each other. And from this, Lemaitre drew a very important conclusion. The universe is expanding. Along comes Edwin Hubble, another astronomer who lived at the same time as Lemaitre. And he is, of course, the same person who the Hubble Space Telescope is currently named after. Regardless, Hubble spent a lot of time studying galactic spectra as well, and he too concluded that the universe must be expanding. Except he went a little bit further in the development of what would become known as Hubble's Law. Hubble's Law states, of course, that all galaxies are moving away from us. There is no argument against this. This is observable. We can see this happening even today using telescopes and spectrometers. Hubble took it a step further, though, in that he noted that not only are the galaxies moving away from us, but the further away they are, the faster they're moving away. And so not only is the universe expanding, but it's expanding faster and faster with every passing day. This is what led us to the Big Bang Theory. Essentially, the Big Bang Theory hits a cosmic rewind button. And if you have an expanding universe and you go back in time, then logically it was getting smaller. And there must have been a point in time when everything was crammed into one tiny dot, which is now known as a singularity, which one day exploded and expanded out, creating not only stars and planets and galaxies, but creating the universe itself, creating time and space, energy and matter. And so that's what the Big Bang Theory says. To summarize, the Big Bang Theory states that the universe was created when a tiny, super dense, super hot mass exploded and began expanding very rapidly, eventually cooling and forming into the stars and galaxies and all other cosmic materials that we observe today. The theory states that this event, this Big Bang, this explosion, likely occurred somewhere between 13 and 15 billion years ago. So essentially, the theory says that the universe was formed from an explosion, or a rapid expansion. It's important to note that this theory is largely based on the observation of red-shifted galaxies. The spectra of most galaxies are severely redshifted, meaning the universe is expanded. Now there is one more key piece of evidence to support the Big, Thang Big Bang Theory in addition to the redshift of galaxies. We'll discuss that in the coming days. In the meantime, take a moment and watch this great video which summarizes what we have just discussed. I'm Jana and I'm a professor of physics and astronomy. I work on where it all started. The simplest picture of the Big Bang starts with nothing. There's really nothing. There's no space, there's no time, there's no matter, there's no energy. It's nothing but the potential to exist. And out of that bursts the universe. Time starts, space is created, all of the matter and the energy in the universe is born at that moment. In the first minute fraction of a second, the universe inflates. And then about three minutes later, atoms begin to form. And about five billion years later, galaxies begin to form. 
one of these galaxies about 10 million years later, a little ordinary planet forms, and 14 billion years later, people evolve. We're at the last bleep um, in the cosmic history. The Big Bang is often misunderstood as an explosion in space, as though space existed and time existed, and there was just this explosion of matter and energy into space. But something much more profound than that is going on, and that is space itself is created in the Big Bang, and time is created in the Big Bang. The Big Bang describes the origin of the entire universe. But we also know that the math that we're doing on pen and paper isn't going to be the whole story. It's possible that the universe was really a bounce from a previous history when the universe was already big and started to collapse and bounced out into a new Big Bang. And then we were born in this cosmos that we think started 14 billion years ago, but really it goes back infinity to infinity. Uh, and an eternity of bounces and cycles like this. Or it's possible that our universe is just one kind of bubble or plume off of a patchwork of other bubbles and plumes. And so there's other universes out there. It's like a megaverse, but we can't contact them. And so for all we know, this is it. This is the whole cosmos back to our beginning and our big bang. But it might not be that way. But we know something happened, something that created a hot space from which the universe expanded and evolved.